Welcome to Mount Mittenwald, I'm Alpine, proud owner and operator of Switzerland's greatest mountain resort. I, along with the friendliest staff on the planet, have the pleasure of welcoming families from all over the world to enjoy this magical place. We hope your stay here at Alpine Inn is full of family fun, mountain adventures and all the Swiss cheese you can eat. And of course, don't forget to check out our world famous display of snowy gnomes. For further information about any of our amenities and winter sports, visit the front desk or ask any of our staff members. We're happy to help.
Moses was a great leader for God's people, the Israelites. God made a promise to give them a new land, and it was Moses' job to lead them there. While they were on their way, they stopped to camp near a place called Mount Sinai. God asked Moses to leave the people and come up on the mountain to meet with him. God spent a lot of time talking to Moses and wrote down 10 rules for the people to follow. While Moses was there, the people got tired of waiting for him to come down from the mountain. They gathered around Aaron, Moses' helper, and asked him to make a fake god to be their leader. Using the gold from earrings and a special tool, Aaron made a calf for the people to worship. They threw a big party and danced around it. The people sinned against the one true God by replacing him with something else. God saw what they had done and told Moses. He was angry with the people for disobeying his commands. But Moses begged God to have pity on his people. He reminded God of all the ways he had rescued them from so many things and that he had promised to always love them. Moses left the mountain carrying the tablets, and as soon as he saw God's people worshiping the golden calf, he got so angry that he threw the tablets to the ground, breaking them into pieces. He couldn't believe they were so quick to forget God after all he had done for them. Moses also destroyed the calf by throwing it into a fire. Some days later, God called Moses to meet with him on Mount Sinai. He took two new stone tablets so God could write the rules on them again. God came down from heaven in a cloud. He spoke to Moses and said, I am a God who is tender and kind. I am faithful and full of love. I continue to show my love to thousands of people. I forgive those who do evil, and I forgive those who sin. At once, Moses bowed down to the ground and worshiped God. Moses came down from the mountain after 40 days and 40 nights with the two stone tablets in his hands. When God's people saw him, they were amazed and afraid. Moses' face was shining because he had spoken with God. Moses asked them to come close, and they did. He told them about the commands the Lord had given them. We can only imagine how thankful God's people were to hear the commands and the promise God made to show his love to them. God's promises were true then, and they are true today. No matter what we do, we can know God promises to love us.